This is Scott the Fix-It Guy with a pretty easy fix for a leaking dishwasher from underneath. This is a picture of where the water is leaking underneath something called the diverter motor, the round uh, white thing that we saw. And this is caused by a uh, rubber seal that wears out and starts to let a little bit of water leak past it and it leaks out the bottom of your dishwasher. This is usually in the KitchenAid or Whirlpool dishwashers. And here's the little rubber seal you can get from eBay. They call it the diverter seal grommet. And you also need a little thing called the hook tool. You can get like at a hardware store or auto, auto uh, supply store, auto parts store. And it's really great for getting underneath the seal to pull it out. So this will be a pretty quick repair. We're going to pull off this bottom arm by twisting the nut underneath it to the left. And then we want to try to get um, the tube that brings water up to the upper spray arms. We want to remove it. It has two clips at the top that we just have to pry apart. And then we can pull down on the plastic part that spins and we'll get that one loose. And then in the back, behind the upper drawer, there's another couple of clips that we have to loosen up to make this plastic tube let go. And I'm gonna use a standard head screwdriver to give me more leverage. There's a clip on each side of it and I wanna just slip those off. So now I've got it loosened at the top and loosened at the bottom. I'm sorry, at the middle part. And now I can pull the tube toward me. And I need to now disconnect it from where it sits at the bottom. And there are um, two plastic clips holding it on. I'm going to use a standard head screwdriver to gently pry those out to the right and the left so I can pull this thing out. And now I've got that whole tube loose and I can just get it out of the dishwasher. That's going to allow me now to move the diverter tube assembly to my left. I'm going to lift up on a little clip and then I'm going to twist it to my left and now that whole thing comes up. And then there's a white um, piece underneath you lift it straight up and you'll see now a white plastic stem and the black seal around it. I'm going to put the hook tube, hook tool down in near the white plastic stem and then I'm going to hook it underneath the seal and then I'm going to gently pull up to get that seal out and I might have to work around a little bit. There it goes. So the old seal just came out. So if you use a hook tool it comes out pretty easy. We hooked underneath the seal and then lifted it up. I'll put in the new seal and there's kind of like a open side and then the other side of the seal is flat. We're going to put the flat part down into the dishwasher around the white plastic shaft. And then I want to get this thing to sit down there as tightly as I can. So I'm pushing it down with my thumb, but I'm, then I'm going to use a socket from my socket set that is about the same diameter as the rubber seal. I'm going to use that to help push that rubber seal even harder down into its position. I want to make sure it's really sitting in there strong. And that's about it. We're just going to now reassemble the dishwasher and then make sure there's no more leak. So I'm going to put this white thing down and turn it until it sits down inside. I'll put the diverter cap back on and I'll turn it to my right until it locks in. And then I'm going to put the diverter water tube back in so that it'll lock in at the bottom. And then I'll lock it in in the middle into its clips and I'll lock it in at the top into its clips. So I'm just going to get it into position and then I'll push it in to the bottom piece and then I'll push it back into its clips in the middle and then I'll push it back into its clips at the top. 
And that's about it. When I tested it, I opened the panel underneath to see if I could see more water leaking out from the diverter motor, and there was no water. So just putting in that new seal will do the trick. I think the important thing is to get that hook tool, because <clears throat> it makes it much easier. I tried using a couple other things earlier, and it just didn't do the trick, so you really need that hook tool. So hope this has been helpful to you, and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. And thanks so much for watching.